Where's the fight? On its way. So why hasn't the MCU explained Bucky Barnes' White Wolf persona yet? And could we ever see a standalone White Wolf movie? Or will Bucky finally become the long-awaited Wakandan hero according to Marvel's Thunderbolts theory? Well, here's everything we know about a potential White Wolf solo film in the MCU. The MCU has been hinting at Bucky Barnes' White Wolf transition for years, making a standalone movie quite likely. The upcoming Thunderbolts film could be the perfect opportunity for Sebastian Stan's Bucky Barnes to become a new superhero in the MCU. As confirmed by Marvel Studios head Kevin Feige in July 2022, Thunderbolts will bring back several villains and anti-heroes from the MCU, coming together as a new team under the guidance of Julia Louis-Dreyfus's enigmatic Valentina, the CIA director. While details about Thunderbolts' plot are still under wraps, the groundwork may have already been laid, setting up a dramatic and potentially game-changing story. The team will include characters like Bucky Barnes, Yelena Belova, Red Guardian, Taskmaster, Ghost, and U.S. Agent, acting as a sequel to several past MCU projects, including Ant-Man and the Wasp, Black Widow, and The Falcon and the Winter Soldier. Of these, The Falcon and the Winter Soldier might have the most significant impact, as Bucky is speculated to be the team's de facto leader. Despite debuting in Captain America the First Avenger back in 2011 and being one of the MCU's longest-running characters, Bucky has mostly been in the background, until now. Since Julia Louis-Dreyfus made her debut as Contessa Valentina Allegra de Fontaine in The Falcon and the Winter Soldier in 2021, Marvel Studios has been building up to the storyline for Phase 5's Thunderbolts. Louis Dreyfus also appeared in Black Widow and Black Panther Wakanda Forever, with the latter revealing more about her intentions. In Wakanda Forever, Valentina was unveiled as the director of the CIA and the ex-wife of Martin Freeman's Everett K. Ross. She expressed a strong interest in acquiring Vibranium, one of the most sought-after and powerful resources in the MCU found mainly in Wakanda. The movie hinted at a global scramble to obtain Vibranium, with many hoping that Wakanda's relationship with the United Nations might allow the world to tap into its power. Valentina's determination to secure as much of Wakanda's vibranium as possible suggested that she might orchestrate a Thunderbolts-led invasion of Wakanda. This move could be central to the Thunderbolt storyline, but it would also create significant challenges for one of Wakanda's honorary citizens. After the Avengers showdown in Captain America Civil War, Steve Rogers made an arrangement with T'Challa's Black Panther to keep Bucky Barnes in Wakanda, shielding him from the outside world while he recovered from his Hydra conditioning. A flashback in The Falcon and the Winter Soldier showed Florence Kasumba's Io helping Bucky break free from his programming, allowing him to re-enter society, seek therapy, and shed the Winter Soldier identity. Now, Bucky is set to take on a new superhero role that has been teased for a while. In the post credit scene of Black Panther, Bucky is seen recovering in Wakanda, where Wakandan children nickname him the White Wolf. This name is mentioned again by T'Challa in Avengers Infinity War, and Bucky himself uses it in The Falcon and the Winter Soldier. However, we've yet to see him fully embrace this identity. In the comics, the White Wolf is the adoptive brother of T'Challa and Shuri, and leads Wakanda's secret police. Bucky could finally take on this moniker in Thunderbolts, especially if Valentina's quest for Vibranium leads him back to Wakanda. If not for Thunderbolts, another solo MCU project would be a perfect opportunity to give Bucky Barnes the justice he deserves. Marvel could incorporate aspects of the White Wolf's comic book story into this project. In the comics, the White Wolf was introduced in Black Panther Volume 2 No. 3 as Hunter, an orphan whose parents died in a plane crash in Wakanda. Adopted by King T'Chaka, Hunter faced discrimination as the first outsider to integrate into Wakanda. His relationship with T'Challa was fraught with jealousy and conflict, making him the Wakandan equivalent of Thor's Loki. King T'Chaka appointed Hunter as the head of the Hatut Zarazi, Wakanda's secret police. However, when T'Challa became king and tried to disband the brutal Hatut Zerazi, the soldiers remained loyal to Hunter and went rogue, becoming international mercenaries. 
Despite his exile, the White Wolf remained loyal to Wakanda, returning in times of crisis and respecting the monarchy, even following orders from his brother King if given by the office rather than directly from T'Challa. This parallels the way MCU Bucky might function, quietly operating behind the scenes and stepping up during critical moments. If Bucky Barnes were to take on the White Wolf role, it would require him to do so in opposition to T'Challa, given their intertwined stories, much like Thor and Loki. However, with the passing of Chadwick Boseman and Disney's decision not to recast or digitally replace him as T'Challa, the future of all things Black Panther is currently uncertain. Details about Black Panther 2 are closely guarded, and any role Bucky might play could end up being so different from the comic book White Wolf that it might not justify using the name at all. The Falcon and the Winter Soldier seem to steer Bucky away from embracing the White Wolf identity. He's no longer a fugitive, having received a pardon, and his therapy sessions highlight his struggle with guilt and his quest for inner peace. In a way similar to how Pepper Potts questions Tony Stark's ability to rest in Endgame, Bucky's therapist is probing whether he can truly find peace. The show's ending, which highlights the need for a new hero in the form of Captain America, positions both Sam and Bucky for more prominent roles in the superhero world, roles that might surpass the White Wolf concept. Only time will tell which direction Bucky, the former Winter Soldier, will ultimately take. Even if Thunderbolts doesn't delve into Bucky Barnes becoming the White Wolf, there's still hope for this storyline to unfold. There's speculation that a second season of The Falcon and the Winter Soldier might be in the works. If that happens, it might not focus on Sam Wilson's new Captain America, who will be featured in Captain America Brave New World, but could instead spotlight the MCU's new Falcon, Joaquin Torres and Bucky Barnes. This could finally give Bucky the opportunity to embrace the White Wolf identity. Despite being in the MCU for over a decade, Bucky has primarily been a secondary character, first to Steve Rogers and then to Sam Wilson. He's gone from being the Winter Soldier to breaking free from Hydra's control, but he's yet to receive significant development on his own. In the comics, the White Wolf is a title passed down through generations of warriors, much like the Black Panther. This suggests that the mantle could have a rich history extending back decades, with Bucky Barnes being just the latest to take it on. The connection between the White Wolf and the War Dogs further supports the idea that this mantle will be explored in depth in Eyes of Wakanda. And that's that for today's video. Thanks for watching and we will see you in the next one. Your suggestions for future videos are always welcome in the comments below.